Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 20, chapter 12. Chapter 12 is about static balanced. In order to make sure the object or system is balanced, it must satisfy two requirements. The latent force is zero, net torque is zero. Now let's look at this system. We can see we have the four forces, right? First one is the gravity for the beam, M1g, and M2g is the force for the book, the book, the force for this, this point, FH, right, the hinge, FH, and also we have the force for tension for this string, FT. Now we project the FH and FT in X component and a Y component, so this side FT cosine theta, this side FT sine theta, and this side FH X, this side FH Y. Now first one, we need to make sure the net torque is zero, so we select this one as rotation axis. So this is the rotation axis. The torque from this one is zero, zero, right? And then, so native force, we look at it, is the FT sine theta. So this is FT sine theta up, perpendicular to the length L2. So FT sine theta times L2, it's up. And then upside direction, we have two forces, M1g and M2g. So M1g pointing down times the distance, L1 divided by 2. And then M2 is the M2 times L1. This one is the total length. Now we solve this equation, get the function for Ft, input loan quantities, get the answer for Ft. Now we need to make sure we get the force for Fh. So this one we consider the net force is balanced. First one at the y component, we have this one FHY, this one FT sine theta, right? Minus M1G, M2G. You solve this equation, can get FHY. And then we can get the force for the X component. At X component, you can see we only have two forces, this one and this one. So FHX minus FT cosine theta equal to zero. In this function, you can get FHX. Now you get two components for FH. FH is get. Thank you.